Good morning, everybody. This is Gary Core EDC. Um, coming to you on this beautiful Sunday morning. Um, I want to thank God that I'm able to make a video this morning. Um, hope everyone is doing well with the time change. Um, we got to fall back, set a spring forward. So um, we gained an hour per se, I guess. Um, I want to start out this morning with uh, two two sons. These are uh, both the same model numbers um, in two different variants. Um, we have the G10 with the infamous pointy pocket clip done in a honeycomb pattern. Very minimalistic uh, flipper tab. This blade shape is very odd. It is a see-through. It has some milled features on the back spacer here. <clears throat> this is a non-lanyard version. Um, which I'm okay with that, but... Um, sort of hit or miss. I'm, I like lanyards. I don't put them on everything, but I do like lanyards. Um, this is sort of hard to get your finger on. You really got to get a purchase on it to get it to open, but it flies open. Um, wow, look at that blade. That is just a, a recurve I don't know what kind of swedge. That's a that's an odd shaped blade, isn't it? And again, this is the T the two sun. It's a night morning design. The deep the blade material is D2 with a, a liner lock on G10 and the pointy pocket clip. Which in the future I will be modifying all of my G10 models that have this clip or trying to to see if I can come up with something that works. Looks like I have a piece of lint in there. <laughs> yep, piece of lint gone now. Um, okay, now same version in titanium black wash. Now I like this one much better. Um, the shape is the same. Same drop, same shape, same blade. I'm sure the chain blades are interchangeable. Again, night morning design, D2. Now, I noticed on this blade, the D2 is marked on this side. And on this one, the D2 is marked on this side. So that is a variation. And on this one, it has actually night morning spelled out. And this here is just his moniker. Um, I have not seen these on eBay. This is more of a rarity. I purchased this secondhand new. Um, This is called the Reaper. And I'm sure when the Reaper comes, you don't want to be around. Um, just really nice steel inserts on the blade, on the frame lock, and for blade engagement. Um, as some say the spine lock on the inserts is not so good. Again, this one also is no lanyard option, but very nicely done. Milled backspacer, very functional pocket clip, nice heavy ramp in. There's not a lot of area for um, pants, jeans, shorts, but you have a very nice ramp, as you can see in that picture, for it to slide in and out. And this knife is nice in and out of pocket. Um, 
just beautiful mill work done as usual on all the two sons again same flipper style you really you really got to get a hold of it but it's got a nice strong detent um, blade centering on these is perfect nice thick blades this is really not a slicer um, real stout tip again there you go you really got to get a purchase on it it has been background not a full flat grind but you know you got it is thin behind the edge um, my quality this morning the video doesn't look that great on screen um, yep that is the Reaper and I should have done my homework I had my piece of paper here when I started filming the video but I can't find it I will update in the comment section the actual model number of this I had it wrote down and I can't find it um, so anyway that's the two suns this morning now I have a rather of a rarity here um, a Columbia River knife and tool is or CRKT cricket um, I won this in an auction for a fairly decent price hence the reason I bought it this is really not a user or an EDC um, this is the CRKT fulcrum has like a celluloid type uh, marbleized scales which will probably in the future be replaced with some custom wood or mercator scales I do like the the blue but I'll probably fill the majority of that up with scales to get rid of that pointy edges you know bring the scales out flush to the frame liners um, you know epoxy and, and, and screw back into place um, this here has a very weird uh, opening mechanism you can't open you, you know you, you see there is no flipper there is no finger groove um, it's just a weird little little knife um, this is only tip down carry which I'm not a big fan of but the clip is used in conjunction with the opening of this little weird knife we have here um, the CRKT fulcrum is you pull with your index finger on the back side with your clip and push with your thumb. And then you do that. And it's a one-handed opener. It's a... Calmer fulcrum. Close as normal. You can see as you close it, it ramps in. It's a, you can sort of see back here in the back, it is designed on a path, a track that a pin slides in as you push and open so again pulling with these fingers pushing with this finger over and up one-handed opener it's not considered a switch blade it's under three inch in blade length um, just a weird little design close as normal you can see the track here these pins that slide in and out and that's it the CRKT fulcrum they also offer a fulcrum 2 which is done in a black and gray version and it's a little larger than this I might be optic to get that I'm not sure yet
there you go that model has been discontinued now last on the show today I noticed folks I'm not doing any uh, any measuring of anything I'm just doing a quick video wanted to get one out today um, I'm going back for surgery for the second one the first one didn't take I'm gonna get some some spacers and screws put in my back so I gotta go again I'm not looking forward to it but uh just wanted to get another video out try to keep my mind off what I got going on um, this here is some would call the piston knife the uh, the hiding flipper tab knife um, it's I call it a bad to the bone knife um, really nice done carbon fiber done on both sides machined pocket clip really nicely done works well in and out of the pocket um, full titanium flies open this is a large large knife we're talking uh, just over four inches of cutting length or right at four inches of cutting length um, right at a nine inch blade overall length um, just a beast of a knife full flat grind d2 is the material there is no maker's mark on this um, nice anodized titanium backspacer anodized titanium pocket clip if you notice now that we've we've opened this knife, the flipper tab, which would normally be down here, is gone. It's still here. Okay. Now, when I close this thing, you can see that little rotating up. See how it floats? That's pretty neat. And um, there's a couple other videos on here where guys have disassembled it and showed it how that's how that's working. Um, I don't want to infringe on their, their stuff. I'm just doing my thing, you know. Um, just wanted to show and tell. really like this knife. Um, so much that I bid on two. And didn't think I'd win it, but I did. So I'm probably going to be posting one of them on eBay soon to get rid of it. Um, but really a nice little knife. Um, come with a nice case. Um come from a USA seller I didn't have to wait forever to come from China um, nice very sharp out of the box um, not sure how the heat treat is on this um, it does have inserts like your two sons do for blade engagement when it's open um, it's not too heavy I'm gonna get a scale soon so I can start giving some measurements or some weights um anyway well that's it for today i've uh i've done what i wanted to try to do i like to try i'm gonna try to start keeping my videos for 15 minutes or less um according to my counter we're coming up on 14 minutes um, so i say mission accomplished um, i want to say thank god um, he's a merciful god and I just want to give him all the praise and the glory through all things. Remember to support the NRA. Feel, agree, feel free to agree or disagree. Um, I found my, uh, my little hanky. Uh, buildinghomesforheroes.org um, Help our heroes, our veterans when they come home to have a place. Because um, they fought overseas and wherever, so we can have a place here, Lord. So it's natural for them to have a place when they come home and are unable or have the inability to provide for themselves due to injuries or sufferings of, of any kind, Lord Jesus. We don't know the torment that these soldiers go through in battle. Um, remember? God bless America and everyone else too. And this is Garrett Core EDC. 
Have a great day. Bye.